Hi, Mr. Corsi here. In this question, we're asked to express this fraction, 9 over root 6, with a rational denominator. Rational denominator means we can't have a square root sign in here. We need to have a number without that square root sign. Now, it is possible to undo square roots by squaring. If we do the opposite of square rooting, it's and square this number, a root 6 times a root 6, then the root dis disappears and we get 6. Now you can't just go away to a fraction and start multiplying the bottom of it by another number, like root 6. We have to be careful what we're doing. And we have to be very careful that the value of the fraction doesn't change. So if we consider 9 over root 6 and multiply it by 1, but use 1 in the form of root 6 over root 6, then we'd be able to multiply the top value by root 6 and the bottom of the fraction by root 6. So provided we multiply both top and bottom of a fraction by the same number, things are OK because we haven't changed the value of that fraction. We're really multiplying it by 1. So we end up with 9 root 6 over... And remember, root 6 times root 6 was just 6. What can we do now? Well, we can, just as we were allowed to multiply top and bottom of a fraction by the same number, we can divide top and bottom of a fraction by the same number. And if we choose 3, because 3 is a factor of 9, 3 into 9 goes 3, you can see that 3 also goes into 6. 3 is a factor of 6, and it goes 2 times. So we can simplify this fraction and we're left with 3 times root 6 on the top and 2 on the bottom. And we're asked to give the answer in simplest form. That is the simplest form. If it was a root 8, that would not be in simplest form because 8 has factors 4 and 2 and one of the factors is a perfect square. So we could simplify it as 2 root 2. Root 8 simplifies further considered to be simplifying one of these square root expressions if we reduce the number under the square root to a smaller number. That's simply not possible when we look at factors of 6, 3 and 2 and root 3 times root 2. None of these can be reduced. They're not perfect squares like the 4 was. So root 6 is considered to be in its simplest form. So there's the final answer, 3 root 6 over 2. So that's Mr. Corsi signing out. Thanks for watching this video.